Hello YouTube, it's Detroit Borg and I'm back with another iPad demo. This time I want to show you some of the hidden features on the iPad's built-in virtual keypad. So the first thing you'll need to do is go to settings to enable some of these features. So let me bring that up. Under settings we want to go to keyboard. So under keyboard we have four settings and here I've turned all of them on. Auto correction, auto capitalization, and enable caps lock and period shortcut. Auto correction and auto capitalization are pretty self-explanatory. Uh, enable caps lock is off by default and I'll show you that when I get to the keyboard. Period shortcut simply adds a period to the end of a sentence after you've double spaced. So let's go to the keyboard and I'm going to use pages to demonstrate. Now the first thing I want to show you is the caps lock feature. If you hadn't enabled caps lock in the settings you would have to hold down the shift key and type in order to get uh, all caps. In this case all we have to do is double tap the shift key. So we can see the shift key is now blue and we can type in all caps. And you can also see the other feature which allows you to add a period simply by double spacing after a word. So let's try it again. There you go. Now how do you get to an apostrophe without cycling through the keyboard? Well on the home keyboard or the main keyboard all you have to do is swipe up on the exclamation comma key. So once again, all you do is swipe up. Now if you hold down the key, you'll see the character itself, but it's the one key where all you have to do is swipe up to get access to it. The next thing I'm gonna show you are some of the hidden keys on the keyboard. Very few people are aware, but if you tap and hold a key, you'll get additional characters to pick from. So for example, all of the vowels on the letter keyboard have additional characters. So let's tap the first vowel, A. All we have to do is tap and hold, and we'll see other characters appear. Most of these characters belong to other languages. All you have to do is tap and hold and drag your finger up to the character you want to select. Let's go for A umlaut. Now let's check out E, I, O, and finally U. In addition to all of the vowels having some additional characters under them, some of the consonants do as well. The first one is Y, S, L, Z, C, and N. Now the next keyboard has the numbers and symbols. If you hold down the zero key, you'll get zero or the degree key. If you hold down the hyphen key, you'll get hyphen, double hyphen, or a bullet point. The dollar sign has some currency symbols under it. Ampersand has ampersand and another character. Question mark, you have the standard and the upside down question mark. And same for the exclamation character. The apostrophe key also has some additional characters under it. Unfortunately, every time we tap one of them, the keyboard goes automatically back to the letter keyboard. So we have to go back. And of course, the quotes gives you some other options. Now let's go to the third keyboard. Now the third screen does have some of the characters that were accessible by holding, by tapping and holding the keys from the first or second keyboard. So for example, we see some of the currency symbols. Now if you hold and tap the percentage sign, we do get percentage and this alternative. For the other hidden key, I have to take you to a web browser. So let's go ahead and launch Safari. And let's start typing in an address. So let's just type in CNN. Now I could just hit the dot com key or I can hold it down. And now I have dot edu, dot com, dot org, or dot net. So of course there is no CNN dot net, so I'll automatically default it to CNN dot com. Once again, that's Detroit Borg with a quick demo of the hidden keyboard features on the iPad. Thanks for watching.